So there we have it then, there's the uh, order of play of court two this evening on session three on day one, Denmark against Russia and the Danes have done very, very well to contain the Russian threat. They lead 2-0 in the tie so far with three more matches to contest, but they have been two very tight openers. 51 minutes it took Mia Blitzfeld to come past Yevgenia Kozitskaya and uh, 63 minutes just over the hour mark for Frugard and Tusen to come through against Bolotova Davlatova. It really has been a compelling watch so far. And next up, then Lena Kirschfeld of Denmark will take on Natalia Permanova. Familiar foes, these two. This will be their sixth meeting, and I can tell you that uh, the head to head stranglehold goes in favour of Lena Kirschfeld four to one over the years. And well, those uh, head to head encounters go all the way back to 2013. So and what will the sixth meeting bring us this evening? There's um, an adjacent court fans, the German men, they're uh, up against it. It's been a really uh, fabulous atmosphere here inside the Impact Arena this evening. It really has. It's been uh, the drummers drumming and uh, the fans are very, very vocal on... It's been all four courts, so... Plenty of action unfolding on this four-courted badminton bonanza on day one. Absolutely brilliant. Great to be part of it, really is. And, uh, certainly no expense spared. Lena Kirschfeld is uh, desperate to get on with things, waiting for her Russian opponent. So Kirschfeld leads the way out. Daniel Lodge Gong from Hong Kong, China. 29th ranked the day against the 58th ranked Natalia Permanova. Kirschfeld from Denmark, then 5 foot 9, 24 years old from our house. Originally, she now resides in Copenhagen. And, uh, well, she has been as high as 20th in the world in November 2016, two and a half, or one and a half years ago, I should say. 14 wins for Kirschville, only seven losses over the last year or so. You can see she's quite statuesque in height, isn't she, at five foot nine? Perman over four inches shorter. She wants the other side. And Lena elects to receive. Germany, represented by and She's the 2010 BWF World Junior bronze medalist in women's doubles with Sandra Maria Jensen. Kershfield also won a gold medal in the 2015 European Games after winning against Leanne Tan from Belgium. She won the Scottish Open Grand Prix gold in 2015, beating Kirsty Gilmore in the final, something that even her countrywoman, Mia Richfeld, didn't manage to do last time round as we look at her vitals. And she's a very good doubles player as well. Her opponent, Natalia Perminova. Well, Ekaterinbo born resides in Samara, the 26-year-old now, ranked 58th in the world, has been 20 spots higher, 38th in October of 2014. As I say, she's four inches shorter than her opponent today, and uh, well, she's been a Russian stalwart in the side for many, many years. She's had six wins, six losses this year. As we say hello to our umpire from uh, Hong Kong for the first time today. Semi-finalist in the Russian Open Grand Prix is Perminova. In 2017, she's made four quarter-finals of late. Scottish Open, Irish Open, Portuguese International and the Orleans Masters. So she's on form as well. But it is Lena Kirschfeld from Denmark that has the ranking advantage and also the head-to-head 4-1 -head stranglehold advantage in that regard as well. And well, more poignantly, Lena Kirschfeld in red has won the last three. The last uh, Permanova win was uh, five years ago in April 2013 in the Croatian International. And she'll be hoping to bring that uh, those memories back to the forefront of her mind, this young lady. 
So their sixth meeting. Can she turn around that deficit? She's had one win before, but four losses to Kirschfeld, who's uh, just nine spots higher on the rankings. So Denmark with on the two-love right. lead on the Russia. match tie so Weapon far. This Natalia is our third Kermin match, Nova. the second women's singles. And on my left, Denmark. Represented by Lena Hoymark, Schiaspeya. Russia, Russia third. So Natalia coming over to get play. this second women's singles underway. Service for Paul, too high. Well, that's a little harrowing from the off, isn't it, when that service caught this fall by the service judge? Raucous applause from an adjacent court. Must be slightly off-putting, but these guys so used to it, so focused and single-minded. But Ina Kershvill with a strong start. She's come out of the blocks very, very quickly here. Former bronze medalist from Uelva in Spain, 2018 European Championships. She lost to Kuzitskaya in that bronze medal playoff. So the Russians rightly looking rather anxious. They've got a lot to do if they want to win this tie. Of course, it's the, the winner of the tie is the first team to get to three wins, and Denmark are two-thirds of the way there already with the opening two matches under their belt. Horrible place to be from Russian fans' perspective, and certainly the player Permanova won't be enjoying this at all. Nobody wants the bagel game, that's for sure. She needs to get her scoreboard reeling somehow, whether she just throws caution to the wind. Well, that's up to her, but uh, she's not making any dents at the moment from Kirschfeld, who's looking particularly athletic. That's a wonderful start, though, well done. The scoreboard trickles with that solitary point. Can she build momentum from here? Spread the play beautifully with that cross-court backhand. It's haunting when you've played somebody and you feel like kind of they've got a bit of a sort of hand-over-glove feel over your game style. And it almost kind of feels like you're going through the motions a little bit and that's how it feels to permanent over right two, now you'd imagine seven. that said that's two points in a row in her favor commendably can she build and get a run of three Confident miss from Kirsch felt just a little greedy, you sense, with the straight net shot. Oh, 
Wonderful. Slice drop from Perman over there. over nine six she's got an aura about Alina Kiersfeld the way that she sort of majestically saunters around the court oh that's beautiful control Straight net shot from the Korea. top draw. Rose Let's see it again. Look at the poise around this. Tyler, represented by over, still wrestling with the internal demons. It's an 11-6 lead to Lena Kirschfeld from the off here at the mid-game interval. She is. Umpire. Feeling good about her efforts after six minutes played. Five point lead for her. Play. Looks uncomfortable, doesn't she? Dahlia Permanova. It seems that Kershfield has the answers on most of her set plays. So quick to close the net down there and rush. 13 6. Powerful athlete. Strong in the legs. All smiles at the moment in the Danish camp. We've had a quick uh, look at Mia Blitzfeld there. And I guess it just means that the Danes can just be a little bit more expansive in, in the way that they play, play their trade here because they've got the buffer of the two, two win cushions so far in the race to three wins. Still need to get another win, and Lena Kirschfeld will be delighted if it can be her to see the team through, so to speak. We still need to play all of the matches on our five-match order of play this evening, of course, so until we reach the 14, knockout stages, eight. that is. Wonderful play from Perman over there. Really deadly so accurate. Nine fourteen. 
Has she got what it takes to turn things around here? Can she contain and detain Kershfield on her tear? Well, we've seen several players, haven't we, this evening, particularly in that doubles uh, just gone where the, the drift just carries the shuttle over the base, over the back line here. Well, given what happened in the penultimate point, that was a pretty brave smash to go right at the body of Permanova. Thought it might spill long, but uh, not so. players play with such a high performance level which hinges on a knife edge doesn't it so it's all about tempered aggression and you've just got to cook it up 11, just right 15. if you're slightly off with that level of focus those kind of shots just narrowly miss but sportsmen and women are by nature eternal optimists with the so odds of winning in world sports so slim every week 16. On court four, Thomas Cup Group A, between China and Australia. Third single, China, represented by Xiaoping. Good sense of composure there, turning that point around from Perminova. And a lot of patience as well. This is uh, much better now. She's really getting her teeth into this encounter, you sense. That was a late call, but a correct one. So Kersfeld then just uh, stops the run of points from Perminova. Over 18, 13. Lena Kirschfeld here doing very well to keep in the ascendancy. That's a brilliant touch from her there. And Permanova thought that was spilling wide, but it didn't. That did, though. So it's over 14, 18. Power smash right at the hip of Perminova. Buckled so her into over. error. Let's 19, see it again. Look at this. 14. Just a little short, and it got the treatment. Oh, great deception from Kersfeld there. Wow. I think we were all 20, sold the other way as well as Perminova. So. Six game point opportunities then for the Dane. Terrific play there in defence from Natalia Perminova. But you sense it's a little too little too late. 
terrific okay. return from Lena Kirschfeld and she continues as she has done so often against this very opponent 15. with a 4-1 stranglehold head-to-head. 21-15, Kirschfeld takes the opening game. She has been as high as a top 20 player, Lena Kirschfeld, and that sort of gulf in ranking is just Caught starting two, to show a little seconds. here. Two, and it's been reflected seconds. in that head-to-head -head stranglehold that Kirschfeld has generated over the years, over that five-year match history between the two of them. 4-1, she leads head-to-head, -head, and she's a game to the good here. So Natalia Permanova, you sense, has to throw caution to the wind right. if she's to turn this around right now. Kirschfeld wants to go upstairs, unconvinced of the out call. She thought it might have kissed the line. Let's take a look. Yeah, it's a correct call. Well done, Lions judge. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Two, one. Play. Three, well, it's the first time that she's one. broken to the front, and that was a very aggressive in, uh, onslaught there. Well played. a good leave from Lena Kirschfeld and everything that she does just seems to have that little bit more precision and weight of shot Terrific point that was. It had it all, didn't it? Three, 
really well engineered by both players in the end. Kirschfield having the last laugh. So it's over. Four, three. Over. Four. Oh, that's brilliant play. You can sense Permanova desperate to take the net away from Kirschfeld. She's been a lot more proactive to her credit and she's given herself a little fist Six, pump as well as if four. to say, come on, keep going, Permanova. Kim Nielsen, sole coach right now, lone wolf. Yaka Point must have uh, taken a bathroom break or a little snack or... So it's over. Five, six. He's back though as we speak. Ever the professional Yakapoy. So it's over seven five. Great uh, passage of play from the underdog. Oh, that's a wonderful reverse slice there. So deceptive. Eight, Let's see it again. Look at this. One and then another. It dropped like a stone. And suddenly, this second game has taken a little turn. The tone, the complexion has changed and Permanova is really playing some fanciful badminton right now. And I think the question on everybody's lips is can she continue in that vein? So it's over. Six, nine. So inspired brilliance from Natalia Pilmanova. She heads to the front in the second game and the mid-game interval. She now leads 11 points to six. sense temporarily that Lina Kershfield, uh, the radar slightly gone off and that coupled with the fact that Natalia Permanova has come out and kind of played some real statement badminton as if to say you know I'm just going to take high risks here and it's, it's paying off for her. She's taken the net away from Kershfield temporarily. Hey.
12, 6. She loves that reverse slice. Six. She's been employing that a lot. Well, you did sense that if the comeback in this game was going to happen, it had to happen fairly soon for Kirschfeld. It's very hard for any player in badminton to keep going lights out, out to, throughout. It's just not possible. So, you know, you, you almost got to pace yourself through these lulls and then suddenly explode. So it's over. 14-7. That service fault from Cashfield won't help the cause, though. So it's over. Eight fourteen. Well, she has had a run of seven points consecutively in this match. That was in game one, Kirschfeld. She's starting to get back into this one now, having sort of not really gone off the boil much, uh, so much as Permanova raising the bar. Permanova's had a run of four consecutive in game two. But now you sense the Dane coming back at her, nibbling away at that leave. That's a three points on the bounce for Lena Kirschfeld. Kenneth Johansson. Jonasson, I should say. Too high. Coach of the so men's over. team on looking. 15, so they've just been penalised for a serve that was too high. It has to be, there's the, uh, the service judge there looking through his little gizmo, looking through the double lines, and uh, if he deems it too high, that's the way it is. There's no real comeback on that. It's got to be below 1.15 metres when you make contact with the shuttle. So it's over. 11, 15. So still a four-point lead in favour of... Uh, Russia's Permanova. Oh, that's terrific play from Mina Kirschfeld. And you do sense with her long levers and height advantage that when she really wants to, she can knuckle down and lock down that defense such a good athlete she's got an imposing frame and well played powerful 13, response to the flick 15. serve i don't think uh, permanova will be doing that uh, Anytime soon. So it's over. Well, we've 16, seen over the years she can 13. get a little emotional when things don't quite go her way, and Permanova is certainly testing that uh, emotionality right now. Good leave. 
We've had a lot 17, of glances 13. over to her camp. Almost out of desperation from Kearsfield over the last five minutes or so. Permanova has definitely raised the bar, coupled with 18, a slight 13. look of self-doubt from Kirschfeld. Now, is that enough to get her going again, 14, to kick-start her campaign? Very deceptive return, got the short lift, didn't it? <laughs> Two points away from drawing level so then. Over. Coming over now. 19, 14. In keeping with the rest of the matches in the tie that have all been extended an hour or thereabouts. And to remind you, she's lost the last three times to uh, this opponent, has Permanova. Only once before they've gone the distance. That was uh, in Estonia five years ago, and Kirschfeld came through in three tight games. But now it's just 16, uh, 19. taking her time is Permanova sensibly. Doesn't want to be rushed into too many errors. Oh, that's a beautiful cross net. 17, 19. Saw the space on the court pretty quickly here. Natalia. And uh, well, really kept her cool. That was sublime. So, three game point opportunities for Natalia Permin over here to draw level. It lands in. She shares games with a person she hasn't beaten in quite a while. That'll delight the Russian camp. This match still very much alive. Natalia Permanova takes the second game. 21-17, she's back in this fight. for game three, match three, Russia against Denmark. 
Natalia Parminova extending, detaining Lena Kershfield Play. to a deciding game here. And Russian to get us underway in game three. Well, there's an urgency and a movement, that's for sure. But uh, just snatched at that final backhand there. Squirting it wide into the doubles alley. One half. Terrific onslaught. Insistent there was Gersfeld. Wonderful backhand smash finish here. Great timing. She's missed it. Can you believe it? A smile breaks out across Kershfield's face. She can barely believe it. Well, she'll get reprimanded for her reaction there, I'm sure. But she was all over this point. And that she might pay a happy, a heavy price for, I should say. Kershfield, as she did in the opening game, off to a flyer. Next in the uh, Russian camp. Made sure of that one. So it's over. One, four. Only the second time in six matches that they've gone the distance, these two. Last time was in the Estonian International, 2013. Lena Kershfield so came over. through in three close Five, games, 21-18 in one. the third. That was a great uh, return of serve. On court three, Thomas Kampfrutzi, Italy, Chinese, Taipei and Germany. Starting to impose her physicality again, as we saw in game one. And she really gets fired up. There's an urgency to the movement, and she can really raise the bar significantly. Look at this. That's three or four in a row, that now, for Kirchfeld. She's looking menacing. ซอฟิสเกิลเอริกคอร์ดฟรอมเดนมาร์กสถานที่ 3 a run of six consecutive points for the lady in red here. She's got a real stranglehold over this third game, that's for sure. But will she let up as she did in the second game? That serve was out. That was a, an unforced error. She's challenged. And just managed to catch the umpire's attention before he announced the score. Then it would have been too late. Lina Oma challenges. Call out. Yeah, you can see why she has. That was very close. 
So upstairs we go. What does Hawkeye say? Yeah, it was a good challenge. Correction in. So again, the misery continues Ten, one. for the Russians. It's a nine-point advantage Nine. now. Six in a row for the Danes. Make that seven. Interval. Ching Chen. 11-1, she heads to the uh, turn, really in the driving seat here, and it's a downbeat demeanor for the Russian who's got it all to do. Mountains gradient has got significantly steeper for Natalia Ferminova. Courtesy of some brilliant, mesmerizing badminton from Kirschfeld. She goes on these runs of points when she just looks so one. intimidating. Physically imposing her frame all over the court and Really making it look like a postage stamp for her opponent. Good leave though from Fermanova, but uh, you do sense that the damage is done. Well, she showed such uh, tenacity to take that second game, but the start that Kirschfeld had in game three has just been overwhelming, you sense. <laughs> Lovely cross smash. Some real precision quality badminton again. The day. Oh, immaculate high level of control as she finds the baseline again. Permanova's challenging this one, but I think it's a a challenge spurned out of desperation to me. Perhaps you're just craving a breather. But, well, I don't know. Let's find out. We're going upstairs again. Yeah, a long way in. Her head's like a washing machine right now, Natalia Perminova. There's no doubting that. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Request to 15, change the shuttle. Two. And uh, Kershfield keeps a tight Play. stranglehold and, uh, over game three here. Keeping her Russian opponent at arm's length very effectively. 16, two. Minor blip. 
We can forgive her that, surely. She's done a great job in uh, keeping grip on this third game, has Kirschfeld. volatile personality she can suddenly just blow and that's what Permanova will be hoping for right now so anything to sort of taunt her will be just what the Russians are after really well, that sounds a little bit uh, untoward but you know, you've got to take advantage of anything you can but still the Dane is very much in the driving seat in this uh, lopsided deciding game testament to some quality badminton that she has displayed He's just finding the lines. 19, five. Jaw dropping precision. Great straight smash. So it's over. Six, 19. That's a masterclass right now. Lena Kirschfeld is all over this deciding game. She's played beautifully, particularly focused, looking athletic. And there's been a real urgency about it, in keeping with the way that all the Danes have played so far this evening. Snatches it at a first match point opportunity. She comes through the deciding game 21 6. That is an emphatic victory. Having lost that second game, she's delighted with her efforts and she puts her team 3 0 up in this overall tie now against Russia. So that does indeed secure the win. Now it's all about matches and getting the job done as effectively as you can really I mean Denmark would love to get a 5-0 here because on the count back and you know what with all the ramifications later on in the week it, it matters every tie every game matters there's confirmation of the score in the women's second singles Lena Kershfield safely through in three tight games she does her job really effectively next up will be the second women's doubles